All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures, ES6, Write Concise Object Literal Declarations Using Object Property Shorthand. All right. So ES6 adds some nice support for easily defining object literals. Consider the following code. We've got const get mouse position equals x and y as the arguments. Then we'll have the arrow. And then for the function, we'll have a set of parentheses. And then inside the parentheses, we'll have this object, which has the property x, which is x, and then the property y, which is a y property. Excuse me, a y value, I should say. So get mouse position is a simple function that returns an object containing two properties. ES6 provides the concise syntax to eliminate the redundancy of having to write x is value. All right. So we can simply write x once and it will be converted to x is the value x or something equivalent under the hood. All right. Uh, here is the same function from above written to use this new syntax. So we've got const get mouse position equals x and y as the uh, arguments. And then we'll have right here the arrow. And then inside these parentheses, we'll have this object that is that has x and y right there. All right. So we're going to use object property shorthand with object literals to create and return an object with name, age, and gender properties. Okay. All right. So first things first, uh, let's get rid of this stuff. All right. All the way up to here. And in front of this uh, opening uh, curly brace, let's put a parenthesis. And then at the end of this one, let's put the closing parenthesis. And then inside of this uh, below the line, above the line thing. Let's do something like this. Let's have the uh, curly brace. No, we've already got the curly brace. Let's just say uh, name, comma, age, comma, gender like this. And so to test that, let's come down here and say console.log create person to do the function call. And then we'll do a uh, string of X and then another string of, whoops, another string of Y and then another string of Z right there. And we can see that the name is X, the age is Y, and then the gender is Z, just like that. So it looks like it works. Let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to write concise declarative functions with ES6. And we'll see you next time.